Back you are live with Expresso. Thank you so much for tuning in ahead of the weekend and a big sporting weekend at that. We've been loving the T20 Challenge. Um, and of course, I think that with the undercurrent of the Proteas absolutely dominating in Australia. But tonight, it's the Warriors up against the Cobras. We've got two of the Warriors right here, Colin Ingram and Sissanda Magala. Gentlemen, very good morning. Welcome to it. Uh, before we chat about uh, the T20, I know it's still very early stages, but one from one is a pretty good start. The Proteas, how, what, what are they doing right at the moment? What has clicked for the side that has allowed them to dominate a team that normally dominates? And I know we've got a good track record in Australia, but something is working. Colin, what, what stands out for you? Yeah, I think they went through a little bit of a tough time, you know, uh, past 18 months, and uh, there's been a bit of a rebuilding phase. So it's just been great to see the guys go out there, and uh, I don't know, I think they've just started to really put it together. We know, um, you know, we've got a, a decent seam attack, and... Yeah. Uh, you know, the batters have put runs on the board and, and competed with, you know, with Australia on home turf. So, you know, I think really good signs going forward, but I think mainly they just sort of regrouped really well, yeah. uh, put a few simple plans together, and, uh, yeah, it's been exciting to watch. We know that a little bit of drama off the field. Yes, we'll set that aside and look at our outstanding captain, Faf Duplessis, who really has stepped up to the plate. How important is that to have that kind of captain in a Springbok mindset or in a, a South African sporting mindset, having that, that leader from the front? What, what do you think his performances and his captaincy style has brought to the Proteus? Well, I think it's um, brought a calmness to the team. Yeah. I think everyone's like really really feels valued and everyone's performing and, and, and looking to contribute. I think brings a lot of calmness to the team and, and, and you can see everyone's everyone's happy, everyone's gelling, so everyone's doing very well. Uh, and it does help when everyone's delivering, when the batsmen are giving the bowlers every chance they need and the bowlers, the strike bowlers, as you say, um, they're getting those five, six wicket hauls, it really does help. So bringing it back to a T20 context, explosive cricket, the most unforgiving, not a bad start to the season one from one. What was the, the goal set out this season? Surely you guys want to go for the trophy this year. Yeah, I think you know on the back of, of last year we, we played, we started to put together some really good cricket. Yeah. So um, you know we, we came in with um, a side that's sort of been together now for almost almost two to three years. Even though we, you know, mainly a young bunch, uh, we started to really uh, sort of hit our straps. I feel so. I think uh, you just want to give yourself a great chance, yeah. and um, you know we've got some exciting players, like you say. So you know, hopefully this year we can keep putting it together. You know, we've, we're a good bunch, and. Uh, you know, play some exciting cricket, entertain uh, you know, our local fans at home as well, and uh, you know, give ourselves a great chance to win the trophy. Um, you know, it's such an unforgiving format of game. It can turn in an over, it can turn in a ball. How do you give yourself that chance, <clears throat> excuse me, in the T20 format? What are you going to do against the Cobras tonight, son? Well, hopefully uh, pull off a win, you know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Say it directly to camera. Like. <laughs> hopefully pull off a win, but um, you know, uh, the guys have been practicing really well, you know, focusing on our processes. Everyone's, um, everyone's focused, so um, the only thing we can control is our, um, our prep and how we go about it today. 100%. Well, all the best of luck tonight. I know the Cobra's a bit of a wounded beast, um, but you guys have got some great momentum moving forward. All the best of luck for the season ahead. And thank you so much for the early thank starts. You. you can curse us when you hit the wall at 2 o'clock <laughs> this afternoon, man, but all the best of luck and thanks for, for playing that kind of that brand of cricket that we love to watch. We're loving the T20 Challenge so far. Um, so Sander and Colin joining us ahead of the Cobras up against the Warriors tonight. Um, plenty more sport coming your way this morning. Uh, in fact, plenty more feel-good action coming your way this morning. It is a Friday after all.